So if we go ahead and dial this connection up now, and if we take a look at the ATA that these two modems are connected to, we'll see that there's two lines currently off hook at the same time because both modems are dialing out in parallel. And so it's checking my credentials now. That succeeded, so it's registering the computer. And uh, here it is connected. So if we go to status, we can see that we are connected at, check this out, 81.2 kilobits per second. We are blazing. Uh, that is a pretty good speed considering that this is over VoIP. Um, and we do see that we have internet access. Um, I don't know if it's going to work if I try to ping something, but let me try google.com and see if that goes through. Um, for some reason, uh, it seems like pinging does not work. Um, at least right now, but it did work before where uh, the latency was something like 900 milliseconds. But the speed itself is a nice 81.2 kilobits per second. Uh, some received errors, but no sent errors so far. So, we go and check that out again. Yeah, still 81.2 kilobits per second. So, that's pretty good. On a real POTS landline, you can probably get that speed right up to around 100 kilobits per second. Basically, each additional line just gives you another 50 kilobits per second. Uh, maybe give it take, give or take a, a megabit or two. And so far, I have uh, recently uh, seen uh, it get up to not not in not in this environment, but somewhere else, but with the same server, get up to 350 kilobits per second. That was with seven POTS lines. So not something that, uh, I guess I could try to replicate that if I had seven modems. Uh, unfortunately, I don't. Uh, I only have a couple modems, so I can't quite get uh, that, that, that speed. But this is uh, pretty good, at least as far as demonstrating how multi-link works. It's a technology that not many people are aware of anymore, but it was very popular in the early 2000s. And it's very useful for uh, expanding the speed of dial-up, especially when it is the only option for many people. So what does it take to a multi-link connection make? Um, it's actually fairly straightforward. So if you go to the connections for your, or sorry, if you go to the properties for your dial-up connection, you'll get uh, this window here. And there's a few things to check. So the first thing is obviously you need more than one modem. If you just got one modem, then no multi-link for you. So you gotta have multiple modems. Um, I don't know offhand what the uh, exact limit is on how many you can use for a single connection. It probably depends honestly on the equipment, both the server and what your operating system will support but it's likely to be far more than the number of modems that you have available. So it will most likely work with whatever you've got. So this sort of depends on uh, what type of system you're dialing into and how the phone lines are configured. If you just dial a single number and it, it automatically forwards to an available line or it's a PRI or whatever, then you probably don't have to worry about this. I have a check because they all go to the same thing anyway. So you want to make sure that dial only first available device is unchecked or otherwise it will use only the first modem that is available here and uh, you need more than one available device for multi-link. So make sure that's unchecked. 
Um, it can be helpful to put in alternate phone numbers here, but that's not strictly necessary. That's just helpful for automatic failover and such. Uh, on the Options tab, you'll want to go to PPP Settings and make sure that Negotiate Multi-Link for Single Link Connections is checked. Otherwise, even if you have multiple modems and you dial them up, they will be logically separate connections. So this is what actually makes uh, the multi-link happen, uh, where the speeds are, are combined and you can treat it as one logical higher bandwidth connection. Otherwise, they'll be completely separate and you'll only be able to get uh, the individual bandwidth of a particular line when you're using something. So you won't be able to get faster than that for any single thing. So critical to make sure that that is checked. Um, not really anything particular here. Uh, I don't know if this is, I, I don't think this is multi-link specific, but in this case, I have to go and manually set the default gateway because for some reason the server that's running this dial-up bank uh, isn't doing that, which I think most ISPs should do this. You probably don't have to, but if you're dialing up and nothing happens, it might be because you're not getting offered, uh, they're, they're, uh, you're not getting offered the default gateway. In this case, when I dial up, the ISP or the server is using DHCP to offer me an IP address which it should, but it's not offering the default gateway, which might be a misconfiguration, I'm not sure. But in any case, uh, you can just go in and, and manually set that. And just some options here that are very nice if you're sharing this connection out with the network. You can enable that here so that uh, if you have this connected to your local area network, you can share this multi-link connection with the rest of the network so everyone can access the internet through this computer. And this is just uh, allowing you to make that happen automatically on demand. So if you try to go online, this computer will automatically dial up for you. You only have to manually come and initiate that. So that's what's over here. That's helpful if that's what you're trying to do. But again, the, the two main things you want to uh, be sure are, are set properly is negotiate multi-link, that checkbox there. And you want to make sure that this is unchecked. I think this is checked by default. I think the other one is too. So I guess the only thing that you might have to change is this box here. You also have to make sure that all of your modems are actually checked when they show up here. I think by default only one of them or your main modem might be checked or whatever. So make sure that all of the modems are checked and that this box is unchecked. And there you have it. That is all there is to a multi-link connection. And I put this together because if you at least try looking for information about it nowadays. There's not really any guides or tutorials on how to do that. But having done it myself, I can say that it's actually quite straightforward. There's just a few things that you gotta tweak in order to make uh, a dial-up connection, a multi-link connection. Uh, probably uh, the most work goes into actually getting all your modems hooked up and everything. Uh, once you've done that, Windows makes the rest of it very easy. So just make sure that your ISP supports multi-link and you should be good to go.